We will be loading you onto the train from the front to the rear in the exact order in which you are standing in the queue line. That means you follow me until you're ready. while listening to stories about life on the plantation and Hawaiian heritage. Just a few announcements as we head out into the plantation. For your safety and those around you, please stay seated. Keep your head, arms, legs, and any devices, including cell phones, that helps to confine the fumigant, retain moisture, control weeds and pests, and heat the soil to stimulate root growth. After the field is prepared, the planting process begins. The green leafy top of the pineapple, called the crown, is the preferred planting material used in Hawaii. Each crown is planted by hand, but planters use a sharp planting knife to cut a hole through the plastic mulch. They then place the bottom of the crown directly into the hole. A skilled planter can plant roughly 10,000 pineapples a day, or nearly half an acre. To irrigate the fields, a tube is placed between the rows of pineapple. When water is needed, it is dripped from the tubes directly onto the root. Harvesting, like planting, is also done by hand. The first crop, called the plant crop, takes 18 months from planting to harvest. The second crop, called the ratoon crop, having a combination of relatively cool temperatures, a high percentage of sun rays, from 70s to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes Wahiwa perfect for growing pineapple. Now some of you may be wondering why the soil is reddish in color. Well, it's because the decomposed volcanic ash in the soil results in high amounts of oxidized iron, which in turn causes the reddish tint. The high iron content in the soil is good for growing pineapple. So how do you know when a pineapple is ready to be picked? Generally, you want to select the pineapple that is plump and fresh looking. In other words, the leaves in the crown should be fresh and green and the body of the pineapple firm. Keep in mind, a large pineapple doesn't necessarily mean the fruit will be better tasting or any riper than a smaller pineapple. Also, the color of the shell is not necessarily a sign of maturity or ripeness. A pineapple can be ripe when the shell is practically all green. Once the pineapple is picked, it will not ripen any further or get any sweeter. So the sooner they are eaten, the better. If you don't plan to use a few exceptions with unique microclimates that promote the exceptionally deep, complex flavors in the chocolate. Hawaii's chocolate industry is relatively new, but is quickly establishing itself as a source for some of the best and rarest chocolates in the world. A few miles north of Dole Plantation is the Waialua Estate Cacao Farm, run by Dole Food Company. The rich volcanic soil and excellent growing conditions in this area, combined with high quality chocolate making practices, have allowed Waialua Estate to become the undisputed leader and producer of the best chocolate in Hawaii. If you haven't done so already, we encourage you to visit the Wailua Estate chocolate display area inside the Dole Plantation store. In addition to showcasing a delicious assortment of world-class chocolates, we also conduct a free demonstration on how chocolate is produced from bean to bar. If you haven't noticed, there's a large reservoir out here. It's called the Tanada Reservoir and was constructed in the early 1900s. The reservoir holds roughly 155 million gallons of water and is used to irrigate the pineapple fields and other agricultural crops in this area. Okay, let's take a short break and enjoy. Their CD titled Pineapple Express is only available here at Dole Plantation and you can pick up a copy for just $5 by showing your train stop. Here's Manola Dina, which has been growing in the island
around since the 1800s. Coffee plants generally take seven years to reach full production. Hawaiian coffees are world famous Arabica varietals such as Tipico, Patuai, Katura, and Mocha. The Tipico variety was first introduced to Kona farmers from Guatemala and is now grown on Oahu's north shore as Wailua Estate Coffee, which is owned and operated by Dole 